first thing you'll notice when you come in an Orthodox church is the iconostasis. This is a, a screen that stands between the worship space generally and the altar area, and it is holding icons. Now, in the earliest days when the first churches were being built, it was just a low rail about knee high as they began putting icons on the walls and the ceiling and the columns and every available surface, they began putting icons on this low wall as well. And it got taller and it got more icons. So this is a typical example of what an iconostasis might look like today. Sometimes they're more like an open screen or, or just icons standing on posts. Sometimes it's a virtual wall that goes up, up, up for many levels, many, many layers of icons going upward. The iconostasis divides the worship space into two parts. The large part where the people stand is called the nave, N-A-V-E. Sounds like navel, like a ship. And uh, that word came about because the way the ceilings were built with the trusses, it looked like the hull of a ship. So this is the nave. The other part is called the altar. And the whole area is called the altar, not just the altar table. Inside the altar space as well, you'll see there's several tables. There's a preparation table. There are shelves for, um, oh, for holy water and for books and for other things a priest might need. Um, all the implements of, of worship are kept back there.